the island of Gotland has never been short of visitors over the last couple of millennia. Its strategic position in the Baltic made it one of the wealthiest trading posts in medieval Europe, and a popular target for invaders all the way up to the 19th century. The main arrivals these days are mainland Swedes on their summer holidays, but they've been joined by an influx of athletes from 23 of the farthest flung territories on earth, arriving on Gotland to compete in the 17th edition of the World Island Games. I think it's important for them to represent their islands in a way that is maybe not possible in other forums, you know. Uh, they come here to represent their home islands that's often a part of a bigger country, and this is the chance that Gotland, for example, have to, to represent Gotland and not Sweden. Uh, so I think it, it's, it's important for the self-worth of, of, of the countries, the self-esteem of, of the different islands, to, to be able to have this chance to, to represent themselves. Athletes have arrived in Gotland from as far away as Bermuda, the Cayman Islands and the Falklands, but for some it's not just the distance travelled that shows their commitment to the island games. The team from St Helena in the Atlantic had to travel five days by boat just to reach their nearest airport in South Africa and left home on June the 6th in order to make all their connections. This will be my ninth or tenth island games and this over the years has been a lot of traveling probably to the moon and back and probably again <laughs> yeah and it's just nice to mingle with other islanders and we do find that other islanders got the same type of mentality as us so it's, it's yes yeah, well worth it it may fly under the radar for non-islanders but the island games is one of the biggest sports events in the world 2400 athletes are on gotland just a couple of hundred less than were at the last Winter Olympics. They'll compete for medals in 14 sports, a chance to make their mark far from their home nation, but close to their island roots. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Gotland, Sweden.